Getting ready for that, our favorite flareaholic, Antonio, we call him Rabbit. Uh, he is here to toss together some Mardi Gras inspired cocktails to help us celebrate Fat Tuesday. And I need to mention real quickly, he was just named the best bartender in Southern California at the SoCal Shake Off. You're going to go to New Zealand, so we're going to see if you're the universe's best bartender. I hope well, we so. We already know yeah. you are. Well, at least Southern California. We'll take that, and I'm happy with that. <laughs> Sounds great. We've got some great drinks, and, you know, designated drivers are going to be a plenty tonight. So you, you're going to start off with one that doesn't have any alcohol right. in it. Right. Um, we call it the Big Easy. There's no reason if it's, you know, non-alcoholic should not be flavorless. So what we're going to start off with, this is a fresh passion fruit. Mm. That's why I've scooped out the seeds. Um, and we're like a little mango. You know? yeah. So we're going to throw in some fresh strawberries that we have here as well. And you know how to do that. Oh, I, can, I can muddle like nobody's muddled nobody before. business. <laughs> you know, she's killing the job market with for me here. <laughs> all right, so we're getting this all squashed yeah. together, as I'm sure is a technical term. And while you're doing that, I'm going to get these, the oils and the mint leaves ready. So we're just going to throw that in there. And we're going to use that again so you can put it there. Okay. And I know you like to get the freshest ingredients. Where do you personally like to go? Uh, Henry's, Trader Joe's, things like that. That's where I get most of the juices and the strawberries. And, you know, the organics always seem to have a little bit better flavor and a little bit. They might not look as nice, but they taste a lot better. It's and all about the taste, my friend. All about the taste. So we got our ice in there. This is fresh apple juice. It's okay. not like the unpureed stuff. This is just pure apple juice. It's about three quarters of a cup of ice. Yeah. So we're just going to throw the apple juice in there. It tastes totally different. It's almost that. I'm going to hold it up just so everybody can, can see that. Beautiful colors, yeah. too. Yeah, and like I said, once you shake it up and you get that strawberry in there, <laughs> get it in there like that. Just a quick one like that. And then we're going to just top it with a little bit of ginger ale, and then we're going to give you that cool little red hurricane glass nice. to drink it in. And you know, the ginger ale just helps us sweeten it up, give it a little spice. And you know, if you have a tall glass at home, you can use that as well. All right, there we go. All right, the big easy. And that is for you to taste. Okay. That strawberry might get in the way, so you can just push that out. Mm. Delicious. And so, like I said, the Hurricane is probably Mardi Gras' favorite, famous drink down there in New Orleans, yeah, made by Cattle I think kind of the big joke is that literally you'll find everything in there, but maybe the kitchen sink. Pretty much, you know, it's a it's a it's a rum based drink, and it it will get you. You know, there's no reason to say that this is a, a lightweight drink. Well, I, and as I mean, I know you've probably told customers that you don't want to mix a bunch of stuff. Will you, uh, you throw caution to the wind here? This is one of those ones where this is a party drink. You know, this is not a mixology drink like the next one we're going to do. This is one where this is made to get the party started and keep it going. All right, I'll let you put all the stuff in it. So we're going to do some light rum first, about an ounce and a half of that. We're going to throw in just a dash of dark rum. Ooh. And then, again, it usually comes with a passion fruit juice. Again, I like using fresh passion fruit. So we have some more passion fruit in this one. We're just going to add a little bit of OJ just to kind of get those juices going. Because passion fruit, it doesn't really render a lot of juice, but it does have a lot of flavor. You can hear those seeds cracking in yeah. there. So we're going to just do that real quick. And then we're going to put a little bit of more OJ just to get that stuff out. That's fresh orange juice, Valencia, and uh, fresh pressed pineapple juice. Kind of just get that around just to get, I'm just using that just to get those juices out there. And then we're going to top it off. You can see those seeds floating around in there. So most hurricanes won't look like that because they're using the passion fruit and orange juice or the passion fruit juice itself. And that right there is the world famous Mardi Gras hurricane. Wonderful. Okay, so we got one more drink left. One to do. more drink. A Jack of Spades inspired by another flareaholic. Ace Jeff Lampkin that we have here. He's uh, one of the master mixologists that we keep on the team. Um, we make sure that the flareaholics just can't flare. We make drinks as well, like a good bartender should. So he came up with this one. Um, we're going to keep it with that whiskey theme, which is a lot of whiskey drinks are coming out of, you know, um, the South. So we're going to do about an ounce and a quarter of that. Elderflower cordial. It is a liqueur made from elderflowers. It's only harvested tw two days out of the year. And it's just a bunch of flowers. And that's going to go about a half ounce of that. Payshot bitters. Again, um, bitters made out of New Orleans. The only place it can be made, the only place it will be made. We're going to throw in about, let me say about an eighth of an ounce of that. It's more of a medicinal smell, if you want to smell that. It's, a, it's really different than a All lot right, of other All right, just a couple things. seconds left. Top it with a little ginger ale. And then, like we like to do, make it fancy, a lemon. And then the flamed lemon zest right Whoa. on top of there. <laughs> and that is the Jack of Spades. Rabbit, thank you so much, and congratulations thank on you your again. huge award. We'll um, get you started for tonight. Well, you know what? And I like it.
gave these to me without anything in return. You're a good man. The camera's turning off. <laughs> okay, we're going to add Flair to your next event. I'll just call the Flairaholics, and they can put on an awesome show, and you can learn all their moves, too. Ruben live in the gas.